discovered, made friends with the fact that I was a lesbian. Well, lesbian was way too big a word. Um, too big, too scary a word. I was gay. Small, I could hold it in my hands. It's gay. And um, you know, family, I felt so isolated in Brooklyn at that time. No one in my family, no one in my community was gay. Um, my Holy Roller Baptist folk, you know, I wasn't allowed to wear pants, so I definitely <laughs> wasn't allowed to be gay. And so I was hungry and I went searching and I found poets and I found poetry and I found music and I found Castleberry and Dupree and Sweet Honey and The Rock and Toshi Regan and I did find my way to a bar called Deja Vu in, in New York City. <laughs> I was terrified. That was very short lived. <laughs> but so the poetry of Pat Parker and Jewel Gomez and Cheryl Clark and Donna Allegra and Michelle Parkinson and Sheri Maraga, and like these folk, they were my community. And, uh, and I'm so grateful. I'm so, so grateful. Um, and going to poetry readings and, you know, following Jewel Gomez wherever she was. <laughs> Cheryl Clark. And of course, I fell in love with each one of them. I mean, you know, come on. <laughs> just, just, and I'm so. And so I'm honored to be here. I'm grateful that Ellen asked me to be here. And the piece that I chose to read is I Have. I have known many women, and the you of you puzzles me. It is not beauty. I have known beautiful women. It is not brains. I have known intelligent women. It is not goodness. I have known good women. It is not selflessness. I have known giving women. Yet you touch me in new, different ways. I become sand on a beach, washed anew with each wave of you. 
With each touch of you, I am fresh bread, warm and rising. I become a newborn kitten, ready to be licked and nuzzled into life. You are my first love. You are my last love. You make me a virgin. And I want to give myself to you. Thank you. Gina Breedlove. <laughs>